this demonstration we're going to look at creating software groups and also as well software deployment packages. So what we did in earlier demonstration is we integrated in WSUS with Configuration Manager and now we've done that we ran a scan against one of our client PCs and if we just come in and have a look at our software library and just have a look at our all software updates what we can see at this point here is if we just go for required and just scroll this all the way down at the bottom what we can find is based off that scan what we can find is that we do have a client that requires some of these updates so we can see required at this point here so let's just click on this so we can see one of our devices is required two are unknown against the collection that we deployed leave the software updates against and that's purely because they're turned off so they haven't been able to do a scan so what we're going to do at this point here is we're going to start off by creating a software update group and a software update group is exactly that it is a collection of software updates so I've come into Configuration Manager console, I've come to my Software Library workspace, I've come to my All Software Updates node, and what we're going to do at this point here is we're going to come in and we're going to start locating some updates that we're then going to push out. And we're going to create this software update group based off the 2019 cumulative update for Windows 10 is what we're going to do. So we'll go for this one here, we'll just highlight this one here. Now we've done that, all we'll do is we'll come up to our home page, and on our home page we're going to create a software update group. That then brings us into Wizard, so we just need to fill out some of this information. So I'm going to give it a name of Security Updates, hyphen Windows 10, and our description will be Security Updates for Windows 10. Now we've done that, nice and straightforward, all we do is we click the Create button. Once we click the Create button, we're now creating this software update group, and if we have a look at our software update groups node at this point here, what we'll see is we'll see our software update group that we've just created. Let's just have a look at what's in that group. So we'll highlight the software update group and we'll just show the members. And what we can see is part of the software update group, as we can see within here, we have our cumulative update for Windows 10. Let's just go back to our software update groups at this point here. So what we have is we have our software update group and at this point here we can't really see whether people are compliant, non-compliant or unknown at this point here. So one of the things we do at this point here is we just highlight our security updates and we just run the summarization task. As it says at this point here, it's just going to check things, it's going to check for compliancy state. It says allow time for the system to perform this action. So we'll select OK at this point here. And what we'll do is we will give it time, so we'll just pause the presentation briefly while we're just waiting for the summarization to complete. And as we can see now, we have one device is non-compliant. Again, two is unknown, again, purely because they're turned off. So now we've created the software update group. Next thing we want to do against the software update group is we really need to create a deployment package that we can then push out against this client that is non-compliant. First thing we need to do is just download the update. So all I'm going to do is come to the update group. We're going to right click and we're going to click on download. That's going to bring me into wizard. Within this wizard, certain things we have to do. So as with most other things within configuration manager, mandatory is we have to give it a name and also mandatory we have to tell it where to download to. So what we'll do is we'll just fill out this information. I'm going to call the security updates hyphen Windows 10. I'm going to specify the packet source location to be lon hyphen CFG e dollar source updates. I'm not going to bother enabling binary differential replication. Don't have a network link between distribution points. I've only got the one. So at this point here, we'll just select our next button. We need to specify our distribution point because the updates have to go somewhere. So we'll specify lon hyphen CFG and select OK. Then we'll select our next button. In the case of our distribution settings, I'm happy with medium priority. I'm not going to bother enabling on demand, and I'm happy with manually copying the content in this package to the distribution point. So and this is just if we have enabled pre-stage content, which we haven't. Again, only one distribution point, no sl slow network link. So we'll select next at this point here. Then what we'll do is we'll just specify our download location. We have no internet connectivity, so we will just specify a network location. So we're happy with this location, so let's select next. English is selected, so that was based off our software update point installation. We're happy with all of that, we'll select next again. Read through the summary and select next. It's going to progress through, so it doesn't take a massive amount of time, but we will pause the presentation just while we're waiting for the processing. Now at this point here, after the progress is complete, we'll select close. 
And what we've done at this point is we've created a software update group, we downloaded it, and what we've also done as well is we've distributed it. Next thing we need to do is deploy it, and that'll come up in a later demo. Thank you.